guys, we are live. Me, Diego over here, going to Tuner Evolution today. We're gonna do a little recording, see what our favorite cars are, let you guys know what's up. You got anything to say, bro? Yeah, man, I'm pretty stoked to see some of the new cars that are coming, some people from California. Everybody knows who Dustin Williams, TJ Hunt is in the scene, obviously. Um, so to see, I'm, I'm not sure if they're bringing their cars down. I know TJ Hunt is, but as far as um, Dustin Williams, I'm not sure what he's bringing. So I'm stoked to see that. I really want to see like what our scene down here has to bring. Obviously, we're gonna meet up with our boys right now from uh, our, one of my best friends, Enrique from uh, Rod Raps, and also Rodrigo from uh, Rod Speed. Um, they have cards that they work on all year long that are gonna be at this show. So I'm pretty stoked to see what's gonna go on. Oh yeah, that. I'm stoked too. Yeah. Sweet. It's funny because it's like now that I think about it, like I've always been into cars and I've always been into the scene, but it's always been like. I don't make time for it to like go to car shows. So I guess this would be like my first time really going to a big car show, you know? And like seeing like all these guys competing in a competition and the two steps and, you know, best stance. And I'm really stoked to see all that. I feel like I now have more of like recognition of all these things. And my friend Enrique from, from uh, Rod Raps, he's always like, yo dude, like you never come to your show. Like why don't you ever come with me or anything like that? And I just, like I like I was just talking to you earlier, George. Like I feel like I never make time for it, but now I am, and it's, I'm very excited. It's like being a little kid and like you know being able to do all this cool shit. But now as an adult, it's even better because you have money. So it's like you have ideas, and now you go to these shows, and then it's like that's what I'm gonna do to my car, but I'm gonna put my own twist to it. And then you know maybe a year from now, our next show, we freaking take our cars. Oh, yeah. That would be dope. Stay I'm tuned. That might, that might actually happen. Yeah, I'm on the same boat. I've always been into the car scene. Um, never really prioritized it though. It was just something. Yeah, that's that, the word. Prioritize. That I, you know, I just found interesting. But uh, now that we got a little bit of money, we got some cars we like. We're getting in, man. We're in it, knee deep, bro. <laughs> All right. So what's up, guys? We're here. We just got to our friend Enrique's shop. Uh, they're called Rod Wraps. So check them out here in South Florida. They do wraps. Anything you want worldwide, we come to you. We come to them. How it's set up. Um, we'll check them out right now. Let's see what's going on. With them. Alright guys, so we're here again at uh, Rod Raps and uh, again, we said earlier we're here with my friend Enrique and George is obviously here. Um, so Enrique, who are you man? <laughs> okay, my name is Enrique, I'm the owner of Rod Raps. Uh, we've been open for about 8 years. We specialize in custom wrapping and basically making your dreams a reality, uh, any creative standpoint. Uh, whatever you have in mind to do to your car, uh, whether commercial or cut it because I lost myself. Well, he's even actually done guitars and I play guitar, right? I thought exactly. That was we basically can do whatever you Everything. have in mind. Yes. The sky's and the limit. George is super hungover last night from Tinder. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, man, we're going to keep it short and sweet. I think we're just going to ask some questions. You know, like, yes, sir. I've been friends with Enrique, I think, for almost 15 years. So, I've seen Enrique, like, since he was doing this out of his driveway. Out of your driveway. Uh, my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Which goes back to what we were talking about earlier, how like, I've like always been like into the car scene, but I feel like I never really took advantage of Enrique's lead when he was like, yo dude, come with me to this, come with me to that. Yo dude, check this out. And Enrique, had, I was the like, one always pushing you to do shit to your car. <laughs> and he was like, dude, let's do this to your car. I'm like, I know that's a good idea. Like, Fuck, let's just cut the springs. <laughs> <laughs> So no, we've known each other for a great, uh, very huge time, and I'm very, actually very happy for him, like very proud of him, everything he's been able to accomplish. So we just have some questions that we would just want to ask you, bro, like I'm sure <laughs> you've been asked this before. Um, do you want to ask the first question, George? Or? Yeah, so um, essentially, uh, what uh, when you have people coming in here, mm -hmm. um, and they tell you they want to work on a project, and they, it's like a broad idea, they don't really know what it is, they just want something crazy, what is it that, that you use to, to draw inspiration for? Well, the first thing, the first thing that we have to do is uh, basically set a consultation, and I kind of dig in into my customers' uh, vision or what they're trying to get accomplished, 
uh, most of the the inspirations that we go is not it's not of uh, previous cars or cars that have been done in the past. We always try to you know go a little bit above and beyond and extract and ideas for any from any uh, uh, platform within clothing or um, music. Uh, anything could could be so, used so, as inspiration. So inspiration could come from like. Music, from anywhere, fashion. Yes. Like if you see a from dope, the air. for example, if you see like a dope ass watch, right? Exactly. You're like, yo, maybe I can grab those accents and put it somewhere into a style for like a car. Just they for example. Call, yeah, that's, that's exactly crazy. how it works. Awesome. Um, as you can see, we just did a bike yesterday. Uh, maybe you can put a clip or, yeah, or picture. a picture of the of the bike. Um, it was uh, inspired by Jordan. Um, so this is pretty much how it looks. Ah, go to the camera. If you can really catch that. Yeah, yeah we can use any type of print, any design that you've seen in the streets. You can just get a picture of it and we can elaborate from that design and, and make it happen for you. And when, and when you come up with those designs and like those styles or the prints or whatever it is, is that something that you work directly with the client or like do you brainstorm with your team and then you guys come up with something together? Yeah, I have the direct contact with the client in the beginning. So it's very important for me to get all the information that I need so I can uh, sit down with my team and, and actually talk to my designer as well and we can brainstorm and put some ideas together. Damn, <clears throat> that's crazy to hear, bro. Cause that's like, it's, now it's not, it's, it's, it's almost it, like, now it's just not getting your car wrapped, bro, but it's like your own it's like touch. A designer, it's a full yeah. custom designer. Yeah, it's yeah. like, if you want to get how like, you get a designer, shirt made, exactly. Yeah, exactly. How that's you get designer yeah. clothing. It's crazy you how it's gone to, to that level now too. when it comes to cars. Exactly. For me, and personally, I think that your car is like 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 a presentation car, you know, like it's a, it's a, lot a reception of, of yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So 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 it's fun because what we do with wrap is something that you can always go back to factory. Um, you're actually protecting the vehicle, and you can just give it the touch that you want. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yo, Enrique, so let me ask you a question, bro. I wanted to ask you this for a while. So, what has been the biggest complication you yourself oh, God. have had with a project or an employee of yours has had. That's a really hard one. I'm extremely strict uh, when it comes down to work, but one of the things that I can remember that happened to us was uh, that we completely wrap a car <laughs> in the wrong color. <laughs> the car. <laughs> like a we totally fully, different we color? We fully wrapped the car. You saw a miscommunication. You, uh, but actually it worked out in our favor because when the customer showed up, uh, liked it better. he liked it. He actually he liked, liked it, it better what than color was it was. He, he originally pick, pick uh, like a satin black. Okay. And we ended up doing like a sandstorm uh, wow, that's, color. That's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is that when, when you're dealing with like artists or high profile people, we go, sometimes we don't deal directly with them. So we talk like to their assistant. To or their like assistant. Okay. So there was a miscommunication in that aspect, but he ended up loving the car and we already done more than five vehicles for that person. So it was a good mess up, you know? Exactly, but sometimes those good mess ups are like needed, you know what I'm saying? Cause exactly. it makes a person step out of their mind of like, yeah, yo, I'm yeah. not gonna wear white sneakers and, and every you day. Know, and you know like what was the cool ones, thing you know? about that is that after that, uh, the rest of the cars that we've done for them, uh, they, they just drop off the keys and let us pick the color. Wow, they don't even, they don't even ask, yeah. they don't even ask anymore. That's awesome for you because you get like full creative control over whatever That's exactly, and that's, that's, that's what I like because I like my customers to, to fully trust us in what we're gonna do that is gonna be, be the best for them, you know? Right, of course. And, and at the end of the day, any, any job that leaves the, the shop is, is a representation of who we are and what we do. So everything that comes out has to be 100%. Oh, yeah. So you guys really know, if you guys wanna get your cars wrapped, no matter where you are, hit God wraps, baby. Well, God I'm wraps. definitely gonna link, like I said earlier, we're gonna link the handle for their IG um, down in the links below. You're gonna swipe up. Swipe up, swipe up. Check out his stuff. He always has crazy projects coming up. And Enrique, tell us about like the newest talent, like your team. Are you guys oh, still on a team? Or? I'm very excited about this. Uh, actually, last night I had I had uh, a meeting with uh, my next shop manager. I'm very excited. It's gonna be a girl. That's very cool. Um, in two weeks, you guys are gonna see who's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna be posting it shortly. Um, but it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be a really good Again, compliment stay for tuned. us. That's gonna be on IG. He's really powerful in the IG. So the reveal of the new member, part of this squad, is gonna be on his IG. So definitely look out for that. 
bringing so some insane. girls to the team. That's what's up, man. Especially now, it's cool to see that. I feel like back in the day, like when our dads worked, it was like more of like, you know, the dudes are just gonna do this, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But now it's like an integration of everyone's yeah. allowed to do it. Doesn't exactly. matter what they are, who they are. And I think that's super cool. Yeah, that's it brings happening. different elements to the brings table. Like, different so elements, so exactly. Happen, you know? Definitely. So. And um, another question, bro. Who would you say like, work-related, I would say, work-related, like not drive, but like to the styles that you do and some of the creative designs that you've done, even for either if a customer asked you that they wanted that or something they asked you, like this customer that asked you to, you know, just go ahead and do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Where do you say you grab your biggest inspirations from? My biggest inspirations? Like somewhere you maybe you see on IG or YouTube or Twitter, like somewhere it really like depends. It really depends on the project that we're working on. Obviously, we do research. It's not like you just bring the car and let's just wrap it. Right, right. Uh, I try to do research on each individual project that we go about uh, in order to get the best result out of it. So sometimes inspirations can come from from the TV, from something that I see in a magazine, from shoes, from clothing, like what, what we were talking about before. Um, but um, other than that, I mean, that's about it. So All right. Are you looking no. Like so, no, that's fine. But, like, like have, has any of those, like, inspirations been, like, portrayed onto your cars that you've had? Because I remember, like, before when you had the, the, the Porsche, like, you had some crazy wraps done on it. Was that oh, more just something like, suede? was that more, yeah, the suede and stuff like that, you had like a suede wrap, like that's crazy, like, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, it's like a crazy material that you would think would be on a wrap, you know, yeah. it's like, was the that more that to we show like, it we off, like, we like to, that? yeah, we like to push the limits and, and we like to show off what can be done with a wrap, you know, we think outside the box and, and, and that's the fun thing about wrap, that you can do basically whatever you want, if you want a leather finish, if you want a suede, if you want uh, uh, any graphics, any any custom design, it's possible. So why not try it, you know? Yeah, uh, that's, that's awesome. super dope, man. Well, guys, I think that's it for questions. Do you have any more questions? Um, I, yeah, I want to know, what was uh, the, your favorite car that you've ever worked on? Your favorite yeah, car that I ever worked on? That's a good question. Man, it's been <laughs> eight years of amazing, amazing, things that we've accomplished just one one that maybe stands out yeah when it says that you always like you have a picture in your phone and you're always like yo i did this and people no, are like, but one thing shit. one thing that i'm really proud of and i've job that, that we got done uh was when we wrapped the airplane the global 5000 <laughs> that was the airplane that yeah that was a pretty, pretty was that the one with the, with, the, with the aqua blue yeah with the aqua blue it was called gradient sky we need to get a picture of that yeah we need um, a picture of that we'll probably put that on here too yes, so you guys can definitely that see was that. a pretty cool project it was accomplished in three days this project was already assigned to another team in London and they were not able to do it. Uh, wow. So they had to pull back the project because they give you a deadline of four days. If okay. not, you have to pay 25 grand a day for the hangar. So it's a lot of pressure to right, get it done. Right, right, right. Uh, How many people were on that job with you? With that, I brought the team, it was only three of us. <laughs> yeah, and we got it done with a day ahead. So, oh. tons of cola and no sleep. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but you yeah, got it bro, done. That's yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, man. It was yeah. a completely different experience. Um, and and, that and he got crazy. done. Can you yeah, bro. Wrap it up. No, dude, and having that pressure of knowing that you have three days to do it. Oh, it was a lot of pressure. I actually got flown into to Toronto to meet with uh, the the head of Bombardier. And at all times in the installation, we had an engineer next to us, 24 wow. seven, making sure we didn't touch certain things and everything got so installed you, so properly. So you don't fuck around Just with the team the most you do here? The, no? You, you no, don't fuck around no, with the no, team? Because no, no, no. they, they have a little was, game they play here, they grab the blow torches. No. <laughs> they, they come at each other. <laughs> we prank each other sometimes. <laughs> no. I don't know, I remember Enrique one time like, he came out of Blow Church with his boys. He's just like, Shh. I'm like, oh my god. He's like, no, he's good, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure none of that was going on. No, 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 no. no. Strictly 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time was was uh, all about the business. All right. Well, I guess guys, we're gonna be heading to that show. Thank you so much for watching this clip. Stay tuned to watch. What we're gonna be covering. We're gonna be with Enrique, seeing the cards that he's done at Tuner Evo and some of our other friends out there. Um, catch you guys in a bit.
left and right. You'll see the B-roll. You'll see the shots. It was awesome. Diego's friend from from Rod Raps, Enrique, and his friend, and it was it was awesome. Man. To meet some really great people today, really cool people. I think that was, a, like I said earlier, it was the first time to actually go to like a big time car show like that here in South Florida. It was really cool to see like, just like the energy and the culture that's down here. Definitely is, is a big scene down here, man. You know, like I definitely wasn't expecting that. Um, really shout out to Enrique um, for, you know, hanging out with us today from Rod Raps and, you know, seeing us under his wing and like introducing us to people, putting us down with some really cool people and hopefully in the future can result to bigger projects. And if you guys are down and you guys are cool liking the interviews, because we definitely did something different, I would say, this this episode around yeah. compared to like the other couple videos that we have. Sure. And I think it, we just did like an interview more of the people in the scene and how they get about it, you know, their vision and how they work, you know? So I think that was pretty cool. If you guys, like I said, if you guys are into that, you know, comment down below if you guys want to see more of like the interview process and you know more people in the scene. Uh, we, we swung by, we saw a lot of different cars. Like we wanted to do the whole like you know picking out our three best cars there, but there, were there was just so there's nice, so many, nice cars. so many nice cars. It was yeah, I mean, so many nice cars. I think so much good beer. We drank a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Great beers. Winwood Brewery, check them out. La Rubia and the sour beers are awesome. But I, honestly, I didn't know which car to. If I had to pick one, I couldn't because there were so many different styles. It was, and yeah. it was really hard. I mean, we did get some great footage of great vehicles. But um, I, I mean, all in all, I think it was a great event. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was very cool. Definitely. But if you had to pick one, oh. George. I don't even know if we recorded it. It was that Audi. It was an Audi with a white body kit on it, with a chrome red like wrap. It was. I don't know, man. I'm, and I'm JDM for life. <laughs> I was like in the EDM cars. But what about? I don't know. What about that Porsche? Yeah, see what I'm saying? That Porsche, that black Porsche. The yeah. Black Porsche. It was more in the R34. And that R34 was really nice. It was great. You guys probably saw those. I know. Hi, fellas. And ladies and gents. See you later. Until next week.